We can now create pixel art, clip art here in Kittle, and extremely easy because they've added a brand new style. So if we come over to Kittle AI, scroll down to image styles, click on show all, and scroll down to here, we can see that just here, pixel art. So let me go ahead and show you how you can use this to create pixel art clip art here with Kittle. Now, pixel art isn't the only style that Kittle recently added. Now, if we come over here to the Kittle AI on the left-hand side and come to Image Styles and click on Show All, we can see that they've recently added more. So, Nursery Art is a new one. Pixel Art, again, is another one which we're going to play around with in a second. Then if we come down to here, they now have Pattern Styles and also coloring books and street art. Now let's go ahead and click on pixel art just like that. Let's come up to the prompt area just here and let's start playing around with this to see what we can create. Now when creating your pixel art, your prompts don't actually have to be really in-depth prompts. They can be very simple basic prompts. So for this example, let's go ahead and put yellow smiley face emoji wearing black sunglasses. Now we've got it on pixel art and now we're going to click generate image. Now one thing to quickly note and that is Kittle works on credits. So right now if we click on generate image, it's going to use two credits. Now if we come over to the Kittle pricing for just a second, on the free account, you get 20 credits. That's just single use, and that's all that you'll ever get. On the pro account, you get 30 credits per day, and on the expert, which is $30, you get 100 credits per day. Now, if you want to try out Kittle Pro, then there will be a link down in the description. Disclaimer, it is an affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase, I will make a small commission. So, there we go. That's the first one which we've created, and to be fair, it looks really good. Now from here, what we can actually do, if we wanted to turn this into clip art, we can either keep this as a PNG, or we can also turn this into an SVG directly here in Kittle. So let's go ahead and turn these into SVGs. Now first of all, we're going to remove the background. So we're going to click on the image, and we're going to come over here to the right hand side, where it says AI Background Remover. Now, if we click on there, Kittle's going to do an amazing job at removing that background. There we go. Now, let's just center this as well, like that. And from here, we can actually turn these into SVGs. Now, the great thing about pixel art is that you don't tend to get gradient text. Nope, gradient color. Now, when you have an image with gradient color, it's going to make it a lot more harder to turn into an SVG. Now, if you have flat colors, that's colors with no gradients, as we can see here, this is all pixel art. So every little square pixel is just one color, which is going to make this a lot more easier to turn this into an SVG. So now if we click on image vectorizer, choose the colors, there's quite a few in this. So for this example, I'm just going to put 15. I believe 15 is the max you can do. And we're going to click vectorize image. And then we're going to have our SVG just like that. Now from here, because this is now an SVG, what we can do, let's just make that a little bit bigger as well. And let's just center that again. But what we can do is actually go in and change all of the colors of this pixel art. If we look over here, this is all the colors which is in this image. We can go through and change them. So some of this I don't quite like, so we could change that to a black, like so, which looks a bit better. We could also do it on this color as well. And there we go, that looks a little bit better. But this is now an SVG. So let's go ahead and do another one. Let's do something different. Let's do something like flowers. So let's remove this like so. And let's put one single red and yellow rose with stem and thorns. We're going to make sure it's on pixel art. We're going to click generate image and let's see what we get. 
Now, if you were going to create your own pixel art like this, you do need to do the research into what people are searching for on the platform that you're selling, but you could do bundles. So for this example, we've done an emoji. So we could have all these different types of emojis. We could do all different types of flowers and bundle them all in one bundle. So you could have roses, daffodils, peonies, and so many more. There's so many great things that you can actually create with this pixel art. And pixel art is very, very popular. So that looks good as well. Let's make that a little bit bigger like this. And then let's go in and remove the background. Let's in fact just center that as well, like so. And then let's see if we can turn this into an SVG. Now we shouldn't have any problem with this, but you know what, I don't actually quite like this. So what we're going to do is just remove the stem and thorn, one single red and yellow rose flower. Let's try this again. And now let's just give it a second. And there we go. So this one actually looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and make this bigger, like so. Let's go ahead and just center this like that, remove the background, and then let's turn this into an SVG as well by clicking on Image Vectorizer. There's quite a few colors in this again, so we're just going to go with 15, Vectorize Image, and there we go. So this is also now an SVG. So let's just make that a little bit bigger. Let's center this like that. And let's do a couple more. So let's move the artboards down to here. And this time, let's go with green cactus in a pink plant pot. We have that on pixel art. Let's click generate image. And let's just give this a second as well. Let's just zoom out as well so we can see these. I really like this face. The rose looks good as well. And let's see what this cactus looks like. And there we go. This looks really, really good. Let's zoom in a little bit. Let's just move that to there. We're going to remove background and then we're going to also vectorize the image. Now, I do believe that the vectorizing option is also a pro feature and you can't actually do that on the free plan. But there's quite a few colors in this again. Let's just go with 10 this time because it's not as many. We're going to click on vectorize image. We're just going to make that a little bit bigger as well and then center this. There we go. And that's it. This has now been vectorized as well. Let's zoom out so we can see these. These are looking really, really good. And I'm really liking the pixel art style. Now let's go ahead and just do one more and let's do something completely different. So let's come up to here and let's type in kawaii cat wearing a baseball cap. That's spelled wrong. So kawaii cat wearing a baseball cap and sunglasses, purple and yellow colors. Now we're going to make sure it's on pixel art. It is, we're going to click generate image and then let's just give that a few seconds. And there we go. So this looks really good, but the problem is with this one, all these little stars around this. Now there is a quick way that you can actually get rid of all of this. So if we just make this a little bit bigger, like so, what we can do in here is just quickly come over to elements. We can click on something like a circle. We can match this to the background color. So let's just go on white for a second. And what we can do, let's move this over like so, so it is on the page. But what we can do is just quickly go ahead and put this over all of these stars. So I'm just going to quickly do all of this. And there we go. So what I've gone ahead and done is taken a circle, I've matched it with the background color, and then I've just put that over all of the stars which I don't want. Now, to be honest, with this image, I would probably just recreate this because this comes too close to the edge on this side. But I just wanted to show you just a quick way to edit this to get all those different stars out. So from here, what I would do is just go to download, click on artboards, make sure we've chosen the right one. This is artboard number four and just download as a standard PNG. We then go ahead and delete all of that. We can take this, upload it back into Kittle as that image without the stars. Then we can just make bigger because if you look now, we don't have those stars and now we can just remove that background. 
Now let's just give that a second to do its thing as well. There we go. And then from here, we can go to vectorize. This has a lot of colors. So we're going to do 15. We're going to give that a second as well. And there we go. So that image has now had all those stars removed. And now we've turned this into an SVG. So now if we take a look at these, they look really, really good. Again, I'm really liking this pixel art style. Now, if you were going to create pixel art clip art, what you can do, like I previously said, is create bundles. So you could have a whole bundle of different types of flowers. Now, the easiest way to do this is using the previous prompt. So let's say actually we wanted to create a whole different bunch of pixel art cacti like this. We can come over to our upload section. We can come to our AI generated folder. You can find that by clicking on show all folders or come to folders just here. The more folders that you have, you just have to look for that folder. So if you don't really have any folders here in Kittle, then you're going to find it really easily. But if we click on AI generated, we can then find the image that we want. We can click on three dots. We can go to view prompt. It's going to show us the prompt that we used along with the art style. And then we can just go to use prompt and it's going to put it all back in here. So that's the prompt which we used for this cactus just there. And it's on pixel art. So then all I would have to do is change pink to maybe blue or yellow or whatever we want. And that way we can build out a whole bundle of pixel art clip art just for that niche. Now, once you've created your clip art, you're going to want to download this. So remember, you're going to want to download as an SVG. So all we do is come up to download, choose the artboard, which we want to download. Then we can come to file type, choose SVG. We're going to click on remove background. Now we don't really need to do that because the background is removed on this. And then we're just going to click download and we have our SVGs. Now, if we click onto this artboard really quick, let's just zoom in. We can see that the background is already transparent. It's usually on white. So if we just click on white, that's what it's normally like. But to change it to transparent, we click on new project, come to background color, and then just click on this little circle with the line and it's going to make it transparent like that. But that's just how easy it now is to create pixel art here within Kittle. Now, if you found this video helpful at all, then please consider giving me a like as it really helps out the channel. And if you're not too sure what to watch next, click right here and watch this playlist.